you know if y'all couldn't tell by this point how much I love Euro trucks then you guys gotta really watch more of my videos so check it out so I just got today a Renault Magnum 500 by UH Hobbies in the 150th scale right alongside and I did the video on it the other day my Elgore Renault Magnum AE truck of the year so that one of course was in the 143rd scale in the older like first generation style so alongside of that I really wanted to pick up the more modern I think it was like from 2001 2002 all the way up to 2013 when they ended production so the UH take on it is a lot more detailed than the um, Elgort like for example um, what the and I did a, of course a preview video on this earlier today the UH can actually has a cab tilt feature so let me see if I can get this up so um, I believe from this point on I want to say because Mac actually as I understand Mac actually owned Renault for a period of time then it was bought up by Volvo so I want to say that that's a Volvo engine right down in there of course it's a um, what do you call it 2 by 4 so of course you got all the airlines hoses connections and what's cool about the rental magnum is it gets away with having a solid flat floor by being so high off of the frame of course I had to nip off the rear rear fenders because they were really getting in the way of the movement of the wheels. I don't know. It's, I mean I don't use these as toys but when I pick it up I like to have a little bit of free wheel movement. Oh, oh well, small price to pay. So I don't think you're going to find a Renault Magnum that does not come without skirt. So most Magnums, yeah, you are going to find them with skirts, which is kind of nice to have here. And interior-wise, I mean, this thing is pretty, you know, pretty full-on details. Like, you can kind of see those little mesh things right there. And I believe those are the... Like pockets for the driver or the operator to stow all their stuff in. And you got kind of like a small bed going on, like right behind the driver and the passenger seats, but of course with my light. And the high back seat it does kind of put a little blind spot. And I believe that's kind of like a fold down jump seat right behind the passenger seat that folds into a bed so the doors don't open but that's alright because you get a lot to you get a lot to look at you really do of course you got your Reno 500 badge right there for my hand Magnum in the Coon library and I got the trailer to go along with this so I remember I really fell in love with the Magnum after I saw um, let me get it turned around a little bit um, you saw the transporter with Jason Statham and that truck chase that was totally a rental Magnum that's where I after watching that it was like yep I gotta have that one I gotta and it's like your quintessential European truck. I mean, I'm saying it is by no means trying to be American. It was kind of interesting about the early generations because they they did put a American Mac engine in them. So when you drove it, it was like, yep, yeah, this is got some American muscle. 
compared to the more like Scandinavian Volvo. Renault going on. Yeah, but it is a it was, I understand if you sat up in the cab, it'd be like looking out the the front of the double decker bus. It's got a little more visual going on down there. Got your air deflector. Um, it does like to have the escape hatch skylight on top. The only thing is, unlike the Magnum right here, it isn't see through. So, oh well. Doors. Of course, let me pick this up real quick. So you got a really detailed, really detailed chassis. Your squared off fuel tanks. The, the steering is a little bit movable. Um, I don't know if you can see it too well, but like right here, it's got like a plastic cross member and connected to the like tie rods. That I don't want to move too much because I am concerned that I will accidentally busted so I'm gonna leave that be. So you got a horizontal exhaust going on right down there, your, your drive shaft. Yeah your like flaps right behind the front tires. So yep. Oops, sorry about that again a little bit. Shaking going on in there. Get the camera. To, of course, the driver's seat is a little tilted over to the right side for some reason. I don't know why, but no worries. No worries. Let me see if I can angle it, back it up real quick. So if I drive the, the and this you can kind of really see where they are nothing but like a rolling block. Of course, they're out of scale, but you know, when you match the front two up, it's like, wow. Between the two, there's no room to breathe. So, first generation on my right, second generation on my left. So, that's it. The 150th scale UH Renault Magnum 500 right next to the 1991 Renault Magnum AE I believe oh how about that it was a 500 again I guess I forgot to mention that in the last video at all alright so that you guys take care and have a good one